Hi all, the purpose of this video is to go over standing waves. So our learning goals and objectives are to know the impact of boundary conditions on an incoming wave. To two, know the type of boundary conditions that result in standing waves. And three, be able to solve for the wavelength or frequency of a standing wave given by a fixed length. All right. So let's first Go over boundary conditions. For a string, we can have a fixed end, which will be a node, and then a free end, which will be an anti node. And for a fixed end, the f of x comma t equals zero, and that's at um, the node. And for a free end, so free, d f of x comma t dx, and this is at uh, anti node node is equal to zero. Likewise, for pipes, we can have a closed end, so a node, and I'm going to use the diff the uh, description of the displacement of a an air molecule uh, for my amplitude uh, rather than a pressure. So closed is a node, so then that's going to be x, s of x comma t equal to zero. Remember that that's at the node. And then for an open, this is going to be an anti-node. So ds of x comma t dx equal to zero. So um, as we saw in class, with the FET simulation, if we have a pulse coming into a fixed end, afterwards the pulse will uh, bounce off and it will flip. So after, so it's come in, it's hit, it's bounced back, and it's reversed amplitude. So it's gone from positive to negative. This is for uh, a node. Likewise, if we had pulse coming in and then we had a free end, so free, what's going to end up happening is this free is that when it comes in it's going to bounce off but it's going to stay the same sign so if it comes in with a positive amplitude it's going to leave with a positive amplitude so let's go over an example we'll have a pipe two open ends and length L equal to one meter. One sketch the fundamental mode. And then two find the length of the fundamental mode. So if we draw a sketch of a pipe, two open ends. So we know at 
the endpoint, the derivative has to be equal to zero, so it's gotta be flat. It's gonna be flat there and there, and then we just connect the two. So it kinda looks like an S. That should be nice and flat. And then this is an L equal to one meter. So this is a sketch of the fundamental mode. It's got one node and two anti-nodes. Now we have to find the wavelength. So we do the standard f of x comma t equals to a cosine kx plus b cosine, no, a sine and a cosine, sorry. Sine and a cosine. Sine kx, and this is cosine omega t. We can just drop this cosine omega t part because our boundary conditions are dependent on position and not on time. So this time part will, won't make anything better. So we're just not gonna deal with it. So it's, we're just going to have f of x. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to take a derivative of f of x because we have two open ends, so the boundary conditions are going to require us to take derivatives. So df of x dx equals to minus a k sine k of x plus b k sine k of x. Oh, no, sorry, the derivative of sine is cosine. So this is cosine. So derivative of cosine is minus sine. The derivative of any co-function is a negative, so the derivative of cotangent, or the derivative of cosecant always gives you a negative. The derivative of sine gives you a cosine. So let's look at at, and we'll say this is x equal to zero, and then this is x equal to l. So at x equal to zero, we have minus a k sine of zero plus b k cosine of zero equal to zero. So sine of zero is zero, so this whole term is zero. Cosine of zero is one, so we get b k equal to zero. Um, we know this is going to have a wavelength, so what we can do is we can say that b has to be equal to zero. So now our df x dx is equal to minus a k sine k of x because this coefficient is equal to zero, so now we're simplified to this. So now at x equal to l, uh, it's also equal to zero, so we have minus a k sine k of l equal to zero, or sine k of l equal to zero, or k l equal to n pi, k equal to n pi over l, or using k equals to 2 pi over lambda. So we get 2 pi over lambda equals n pi for l. Pi's will cancel. And then we just get us a little bit more room. 2 over lambda equals n over l, or 2 1 over lambda equals n over 2l, or lambda equals 2l over n. So for the fundamental, n equals 1, 
um, because these are matching boundary conditions. And in this case, the length is one meter, so lambda equals to two meters. All right, thank you very much.